so my name is Evans uh, Bargaret. I'm with uh, Leo Design, the company that is a contractor for bringing the grain fires and installing them in Kenya. Um, this is this machine is called a, it's a Pedroti. Um, that is the brand name of the machine, and it's a 10-ton dryer. Basically, it can fill up to 10 tons of, of uh, maize or whatever grain, and it will dry that in about an hour and, and some minutes. Um, so we will start here with the front of the machine. Um, we run the machine either through a connection to a tractor, the PTO, and this is the drive shaft that we connect here and we connect to the tractor. That is one way of running it. And when we do that, um, this is a generator. When it runs, it generates power to run the whole of this machine. Alternatively, we can run it with uh, three-phase power, normal uh, Kenya power. Uh, so it's one of those two. Um, and Whichever way we run it, uh, the operation is the same. This is the control panel. Uh, we switch the machine on here, and then we'll use these controls, and we'll, we'll come we'll come back to that in a, in a bit. But basically, here we set the we set the burner temperature, where the burner is this device here, which uses diesel to release a flame into the into the uh, the baskets that we'll, we'll see shortly. We'll set the um, grain temperature so that there's a sensor inside that balances those. When the, uh, when the grain temperature reaches the set point, uh, which is at about 50 to 60 degrees, the burner shuts off, um, and, then, and then it cools down. And then the third setting we do here is the cooling down time of the grain. So once it's heated to that temperature, it cools down so that it can be extracted uh, under normal temperature. But it, by that time, it will have uh, exhausted all the, uh, the moisture to the level that we require. Typically about 13 to 14 percent moisture content. This one is the, is the fan, which basically blows the the flame into that big container there. Um, that big container is where the is where the grain goes. Okay, um, we load the grain into that uh, that basket, and there's a shaft inside. We call it there's an auger, which goes round, and it pulls that grain down this pipe. Into, into this central point, and there there's another one which we call the main auger, the central auger. That goes all the way up there, and that one takes the maize through. There's an inside cone, if you can see there's something inside there, like a cone. It goes through there, goes up, and then it comes down. And now it fills this space between here and the, and, the, and the inside cone. And that's when the flame comes in, it hits the, 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 the green, at the same time it's rotating. So it's going up, it's going down, it's just mixing up all the time. Uh, when the grain hits the uh, when, when we turn on the, the, the flame, the grain gets hot to the degree that we set. In this case, maybe 60, 50, depending on the, on the actual moisture content of the maize. Uh, and once it's done, uh, it shuts shut down uh, the burner. The maize continues to rotate for the length of time we set. When it's done, we pull, uh, let me see if you can see. So we, we use this to open that, that pipe there. And that pipe is where we release the maize from, just like we did with these guys. So the maize comes down here. So let's just go back to the control panel. I'll show you how we operate it. Yes. So when we start the, the machine, uh, the, the tractor, uh, one of the things we look for, this is just the power. So that's the voltage. We just make sure it's normal, uh, 415. Uh, this is the, the amps, which we don't worry about too much. But the most important is that frequency, that hertz. So we need that to be around 50 degrees because that's the normal uh, power frequency for, for typical uh, consumption of this nature. Um, so we maintain that, at, uh, make sure that the tractor actually keeps the, the revs to maintain that 50 hertz. And then the first thing we do after we switch on, obviously, and we've set, we've set the settings we talked about, is we start the central auger. That is the one that goes up. So that one starts running. Um, when it starts running, then we do the filling auger. That is the one that has the grain, bring, brings the grain in, okay? And once we do that, we turn on the fan, this guy, to pull the air from the burner into, into, the, into that basket. After that, uh, once the, the, the basket is full, or up to at least 80%, then we start the burner. So the flames come from here, they shoot down. Um, and then at the same time, we can do the dust extractor. That just blows the dust out of, start that thing up there, blows the dust out and, and, and just ex exits into the environment or to a collection point. And then once the, uh, the banner maintains that temperature and it, once the grain hits the, hits the set grain temperature, 
um, we basically turn everything off the same way. So we, we, turn, on the, we turn off the extractor, uh, the burner will go off by itself, we turn off the fan, the filling auger is already turned off because it's no longer bringing anything in, and then we turn off the central auger, and then in that case we just start pulling the grain. So we, we'll, okay, we'll leave the central auger on running for pulling the grain, when we finish we, we turn it off. And then that, that's the, the whole process.